Hello everyone, thanks for watching today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. In today's episode, I'm going to show you, I had a question uh, via an email. Um, in a previous video, I showed you guys how to send an email with an attachment and, you know, all this custom stuff. And the uh, person said, it seems very complicated to send this email. Is there like a basic, easy way to create an email in SAP? in an ABAP program and uh you know I got to thinking I said well the way I did do it is kinda like the standard preferred way but there's definitely an easy peasy like simple way to send an email in, in SAP ABAP so that's gonna be using this class we're in transaction SE24 which is class builder it allows us to look at a class explore its methods attributes events all the things associated with that class so on my screen now are a couple of the, you know, methods that this class CL underscore BCS underscore message offers. This is a class that we can use all on its own to send an email. Um, you can actually even add attachments, you know, Excel attachments for like internal tables or reports right from this. Um, what we typically use if we're going to get a little bit more complicated and, you know, we need some more granularity in our reporting. We're going to use class CL underscore BCS. But, you know, we're in CL underscore BCS underscore message. This is a really simple class. I've written a test program to demonstrate it, so I'll just go back out to that now. So, what this does is declares this um, object reference MSG of type cl underscore bcs underscore message we're actually just calling three simple methods set subject which is going to set the subject text of the email set main doc and we call with a um, import parameter import value contents text and this allows us to do plain text we can say test email body i think we might even can do um html in this let me try it just to uh C. I don't know for sure, but we'll try it. I'll put this in the strong um, attribute here. So, so this tag will make this typically bold. I don't like. I said I do not know if this is going to be HTML enabled or not with this simple CLBCS message class. But um, for the next uh, method, we're going to call is add recipient. So this is the folks that should receive this email you can actually loop you know and add multiple recipients and then we say message send simple as you can get with sending an email in SAP ABAP so I'm gonna go ahead and just activate this really quickly actually what I'll do at the very end I'll say message sent type success now I'll activate this again and run this so I should get and I do message sent down here at the bottom so now to verify that this actually was sent we can open up and I'll do slash O to open a new session transaction SOST transaction SOST if I make it full screen here is going to show me all the send requests for SAP connect which is the email um, now we see here status waiting so this means this email has not yet been sent in a productive system there would be a background job that would be scheduled to run that would take all of these email send requests that are in waiting status and actually email them out now in a development system we're not going to have a background job that does that because we're just creating test emails we don't want these to actually go out to anybody but and we can tell it's in waiting status again by hovering here or by on this message clicking on this link it says waiting for communication service so it's not going to be sent if we did have everything configured uh, this is a basis function so guys I wouldn't even know how to begin to tell you to do this but if we did have everything configured we go to this little clock right here go to the drop down and say start send process for selection which would send the selected email so we could test that out but if we see the little glasses right here that say display document again highlight our email do display document um, we can see our actual document here test email body 
we see this is getting sent as plain text so the HTML is not going to work I guess with this particular class um, there could be a way to do it I just I don't know it off the top of my head we say who it's created by our subject that we defined we could see attributes recipient list like I said if we had multiple recipients we'll see easy SAP abop at gmail.com which is the recipient that I added we can actually back out uh, add two recipients let's just do test at example.com go ahead and activate this one more time and run it and what we'll see is when we go into transaction SOST we'll see another run where there were two recipients it was test at example.com and easy SAP abop at gmail.com uh, it looks like with this class we got a recipient list it'll show both the recipients in there so that's pretty cool um, we can even do on this simple class go ahead and get rid of this extra recipient we can I mean there's a couple of methods we can use right so we got all these that are uh, it's kind of like just a, a simplified dumbed down version of CL underscore BCS class but we can actually add an attachment so I'll just uh, shift and enter to see what we can do so we can say IV contents bin which is a binary attachment and we can say file name uh, doc type I don't know if we need doc type here but we'll do it we'll say it's type ext which is just an external doc type um, description let's go ahead I'll just get rid of these parameters that, I'll tell you what we'll, we'll get rid of these parameters that we're not gonna need for sure and just simplify things a little bit so what I'm gonna do now since I've shown you how to create a basic email I'll show you how to create an email with an attachment so we need a file name this is gonna be the actual you know attachment file name so I'll just say report.xlsx um, I actually can get rid of probably these comments out here these are fairly self-explanatory so we'll just get rid of those just to make this a little bit easier on the eyes and I'll explain each of these parameters so importing value contents binary so I'll just say uh, uh, what do I want to call it bin contents right so how are we gonna actually come up with this data now the the best way I've found is just to create an internal table so actually what we'll do we'll create a table I'll just call it bin contents type table of and then we can pick any table name I'll say SPFLI and then create an actual ALV grid type ref to CL SALV table what I'll do now I'll go ahead and do um, pattern up here at the top I'm going to do an ABAP objects pattern just to make this a little easier. I will pass it the reference table, say CLSALV table, and then call the factory method to just create this table. Um, we're going to use this importing parameter, which is just a reference to our table, which we defined above table, and a reference to actually, let's do this. This isn't really bin contents. Well, this would be, uh, say, out tab. This is our output table for our actual CLSALV table. So if I were to comment the rest of this code right now, what I would get when I called table display is just this output for this table of type SPFLI no data in it right now so let's actually select some data into our out tab so I'll say select all from SPFLI into table out tab now if I call this again this program will show me some data in this table so one interesting thing about CLSALV table we don't actually have to display it to get some pretty cool stuff I'll say data um, let's just call it value underscore x string 
type x string, and I can say table to XML. I'll do what is this again called? So it's SAL. Okay, so the parameter we want to pass in is interface salv underscore c underscore give me one second to remember this guys underscore ah I'm gonna have to look it up give me one second okay so the interface we're gonna use is if underscore salv underscore bs underscore xml and we can pick our actual XML type. In this case, I'm going to say C type XLSX. And what this does is this to XML method passes a returning value and we'll assign the result of that to V underscore X string. If I check this, everything should be in order. So now I'll uncomment this down here. So I will have doc type ext letting sap know this is an external document type the file name is going to be report.xlsx and our contents binary is actually going to be v underscore x string so we're taking this table this alv table converting it to xml putting the result into an x string and then passing it to add attachment and now what we can do is what we just did before we'll say message send and give a message that the message has been sent. So I'll activate this code now. Run it. We should see that message has been sent. Message is sent. So now I'll go to SOST. I see here this message that was sent just now. Open it up. I see my email body again with this apparently non-supported HTML text our subject and we see a report down here report.xlsx this is an attachment if I go to attachments right here I can see it I can download it as a you know local file or I can click on it right here this will actually download as an attachment I can click on it I can open it up and evidently I don't have office signed here so I can see my actual ALV table as an Excel attachment. So that's how you'll do like the most simple call to send an email in SAP using the class that I just showed you, CL underscore VCS underscore message. So you see here in just a few lines of code, we're able to get this behavior that we need as opposed to using more complicated methods. So if you guys have any questions at all whatsoever, please feel free to leave a comment, shoot me an email. Uh, if you have a video suggestion, I am more than open to hearing that so that I can make videos that interest everyone. So leave me a comment, leave me a like, and subscribe if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.